Hey guys, welcome back to Moto Ramblings. I'm Patrick, and today I am riding Big Yellow, the 2010 Honda Goldwing. And it's been a bit. I don't think I've actually taken the Goldwing on a decent ride since right around Thanksgiving, I think. On Thanksgiving Day, I went out for a ride and didn't get very far before I slipped on some ice and spun around like a top. Tore up the rear tire, so I went back to the house and then got the tire replaced, but with work and then the weather, holy smokes. Yeah, oh, 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 damn. That was interesting. Um, I hope they're okay. That was weird. I wonder if it was. A, wonder if it was a phone. <coughs> anyway, we're into February now, and I think this is the first time I've taken the bike for more than just a few miles since Thanksgiving. I. Uh, I took it to wash it, I took it down to the shop to put tires on, I took it home from the shop after putting tires on. Really, you know, that's been about it. Now I'm taking the V-Strom out, had some fun on the ice. <laughs> um, I guess ice and I don't get along anymore. But anyway, it is... Um, mid-February I rode to work this morning it was 25 degrees I'm riding home now and I am on the Blue Ridge Parkway even though I'm going up in elevation I know it's gonna get colder it's 57 right now um, but I haven't been on the parkway in so long I'd, I wanted to come up here and check it out you know, of course there's no leaves on the trees or anything not super pretty but when I get up here a little further, I'm going to have some beautiful views. Now, like I said, it's been a while since I've done any real vlogging. Got my Vivitar there. I don't think it's charged. I am gonna stop somewhere and check it out. Uh, yeah, so not a whole lot going on but yet there's a whole lot going on um, you won't see this video for a little while but as I record this you've seen a couple of videos of my son on his new bike doing some practicing and doing some learning and he just got his permit so now he can legally ride it on the road and I'm looking forward to riding with him. Unfortunately for me, you know, I guess it's not really unfortunate, but because he's fully legal now, he can ride it. It's registered, it's insured, everything's good to go. He couldn't wait for me to have my next day off to go out and go for a ride. He actually came home from work on his lunch break and picked up the motorcycle so he could ride back to work. And then of course he's gonna ride home. And that is going to bring me into the subject of today's vlog. I am extremely excited to be riding with this kid. I'm so looking forward to it. it. Matter of fact, I've got a camera pointing behind me right now that I'm just trying to make sure everything's gonna work out well so that when I do ride with him, I've got a camera pointing at him. But I think it's gonna be a blast. I'm really looking forward to you know going to some different places with him. I don't think we're going to be doing any major trips or anything, um, at least not for quite a while. Uh, but 
just taking a day ride, just going out to grab a bite to eat somewhere. You know, and if my wife is on the back of this thing with us and the three of us go, man, that's going to be nice. Really looking forward to that. And of course, as I'm saying this, you know there's a, a but. Well, the but is I'm nervous. I'm scared for him. You know, he's my kid. He's my only kid. So yeah, I'm scared for me too. And you know, there's always a possibility that something bad could happen. But I'm not so concerned with that as much as I'm just concerned with you know dumping the bike and, and ruining his bike. Um, something going wrong with his bike. Of course, I'm worried about him getting hurt too, but I just want everything to be perfect for him. I want him to enjoy it the way I do. and I'm just worried that this initial you know, startup into the riding, there's going to be hazards. There's going to be things going on that he's just not even aware to be aware of. I've been riding forever and I still came across a bridge and hit some black ice. It happens. But with an inexperienced rider, so many things out there can bite you and you know, you haven't learned the proper reactions just yet. And all of this stuff makes me kind of nervous that you know, a situation may come up and he may not react perfectly. Um you know, that a situation may come up where he ends up damaging his bike or himself. And these are the kind of things that, you know, I went through it when he first got his driver's license, you know. I was so worried I was going to get a phone call that he'd been in an accident. Um, the good thing is he's been riding, driving a car for quite some time. So... He knows traffic. He knows all that good stuff. Um, so, you know, as far as the road goes, I think he's fine. All right, I'm going to get off here for a little bit. I will be back.